Hello everyone. Been a minute since I made a video on the car. It's time to start reassembling. Rust buried the firewall. Sprayed up under the dash. Getting ready to install that pad. Everything had to come off that firewall in order to do that. Got the whole car, her whole floor. Rust barrier. Okay. Let me back up here a little bit. Last video I made on the car, I was getting ready to pull the uh, the lower control arm off of that one. And unfortunately, I left the bottom of the shock connected and dropped the whole thing down. Then once I got it out, I realized it was rusted out around the shock. So I made the trip down there to my little honey hole. It's got 9,000 plus old cars and trucks in it and picked that one up. Also, if you, uh, if you watch my past videos, you'll notice that uh, the tubular control arms are no longer on there. I decided to go ahead and rebuild those, put the new bushings in, the Pro Forge ball joints, made a little bitty video on that. And at first I wasn't going to put the bushings in the lower control arms, and I decided against that. So since my last video, I've got this front end completely done, other than I've got to go over and torque everything down but uh it's done got painted behind the outer heater box when i painted that firewall it was still on there i've got my new uh new heater core they sure are proud of them things these days i tell you anyway oh also i got the uh the correct uh, radiator support mounts I've been having some bad luck with getting stuff sold to me that's supposed to fit this car and well it's not made for it turns out the ones I got originally was marked 64 to 72 a body well they're not they're too thin and from what I gather I think they're for uh, I believe it's 68 to 72 Anyway, I'm going to get off here and get back at it. Just thought I'd do a little update here and let you guys know where I was at on this thing. Still got a long way to go. But uh, getting that firewall done was, uh, was a priority. Is why I kind of quit on the rest of the, everything else. Because um, I wanted to put that pad on there. And everything in there had to come off the firewall in order to put that pad on. Um, some of that I already had out the steering column, and I took the clutch and brake carrier down out of it so I could get a little welding done on it to reinforce it. So it was already off, and I was aiming on pulling the, uh, the wiring harness out anyway so I could run the rally dash. Uh, I've got the factory harness and stuff I pulled out of a car about 20 years ago. So all that had to come out anyway, but my... I was waiting on the weather to kind of straighten out so I could power wash this thing. I wanted to do it on a good humidity, high humidity day in order for it to dry out real good. I pressure washed the whole inside out and let it set before I put the rust barrier on it. So I was kind of waiting on that. We had a few weeks there where it was kind of rainy and low humidity and I just didn't want a bunch of water standing in there. So anyway, I'm back at it going to be kind of a downhill here as far as getting this uh, firewall done on the inside. I couldn't put the master cylinder on it uh, to be able to finish the brakes up. Couldn't get the steering column back in it until I'd done that. So uh, power washed it Wednesday and let it set. Uh, coated it yesterday with the rust barrier. And so I'm back out here today. I'm going to get that pad on there try to get the heater box back installed and um, 
get my wiring harness up in there so don't know might be biting off more than i can chew for the day but uh we're gonna see how it plays out anyway hope you guys enjoy your day wherever you're at and uh i'll catch you on the next one